Fireball, fireball, fireball. Attack 7, 6, 3, 1, bullet. Okay, okay. This green, battery loose. We go away, track number 7565. Five. BMD is back. Back only five weeks since USS Lake Erie successfully intercepted the eighth ballistic missile target for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense off Hawaii in April 2007. The Missile Defense Agency, MDA, Navy, and Government Industry Team begin the next series of ballistic missile defense tests off California's southern coast. For the first time, an Aegis destroyer USS Decatur DDG-73 will fire a live SM-3 against a ballistic missile target. These tests will confirm Aegis Destroyer ballistic missile engagement capability with the certified Aegis BMD 3.6 weapon system. For the first time, Aegis BMD will perform simulated near simultaneous engagements against two ARAV-A Aegis Readiness Assessment Vehicles. Ballistic Missile Defense System Element Interoperability Testing continues with Aegis Cruiser USS Port Royal CG-73, receiving a target cue from the THAAD ground base system. And Allied Ballistic Missile Defense Cooperation continues with participation from Spanish Navy Aegis Frigate F-104. More Aegis ships and Navy operators train and learn how to engage ballistic missiles using Aegis BMD. Held high are Aegis Shields for three test events designated Stellar Athena Campaign, FTM-12. The FTM-12 Stellar Athena Campaign was conducted off the coasts of Southern California and Hawaii during May and June 2007. Participating were three Aegis ships, USS Decatur, DDG-73, USS Port Royal, CG-73, and Allied Aegis Frigate from Spain, Mendez Nunez, F-104. This series of three tests continued, testing the Aegis BMD 3.6 engagement configuration. Intelligence overlay scenarios mapped to potential operating areas were used during events two and three. Satellite data links to Ballistic Missile Defense System, BMDS, assets provided the ships with situational awareness, voice, and data communication. During Event 1 held off California's coast, Decatur verified its anti-air warfare performance while operating in its Aegis BMD 3.6 ballistic missile configuration. NF-16 aircraft launched a high-altitude supersonic diving AQM-37C anti-radiation missile target towards the ship. Decatur detected and tracked the AQM-37, successfully engaging the air target with an SM-2 Block 3A, destroying the target within the lethal range of its explosive warhead. Joining Decatur was the Spanish Aegis destroyer Mendez Nunez, which detected and tracked the AAW target using its SPY-1 radar. For Event 2, a tracking exercise off Hawaii on the Pacific Missile Range, Decatur conducted simulated engagements against two ARAV-A unitary short-range ballistic missile targets. The ship and crew reacted quickly after detection and track, performing simulated engagements on both ballistic missiles launched in succession. Participating in Event 2 was Aegis Ballistic Missile Signal Processor, BSP, configured Port Royal. Besides gathering discrimination data on the targets, Port Royal demonstrated BMDS interoperability testing with a ground-based terminal high-altitude area defense, THAAD radar, on Kauai. THAAD detected and tracked the two ARAV-A targets, transmitting the tracks via satellite to Port Royal. Using the THAAD track data, Port Royal generated its queued radar search volume. This interoperability between BMDS elements is an important part of the overall system. The FTM-12 flight test, Event 3, was the first time an Aegis destroyer fired a live SM-3 round against a ballistic missile target. 
Decatur's target was a medium range separating target or MRT. Thad and Port Royal gathered important data on the MRT and exchanged MRT track information via satellite. After detecting and tracking the target, Decatur fired an SM-3 from its forward vertical launching system, VLS. Mendez Nunez also participated in Event 3, detecting and tracking the MRT. Here is the first lethal intercept of a ballistic missile made by an Aegis destroyer using an SM-3. Stellar Athena FTM-12 successfully showed the flexibility of the Aegis weapon system. Aegis multi-mission platforms perform against a wide and growing range of threats. Supporting the ballistic missile defense system with important warfighting capability for the Navy and playing a critical role in regional and global deterrence in the years ahead. Aegis BMD on the front lines of ballistic missile defense. Three Aegis ships patrol the Hawaiian waters of the Pacific Missile Range. Two U.S. Navy ships, Aegis destroyer USS Decatur DDG-73 and Aegis cruiser USS Port Royal CG-73, along with allied Spanish Aegis frigate Mendez Nunez F-104. They're here to participate in ballistic missile flight test FTM-12 Event 3. FDM-12's primary purpose is to demonstrate for the first time that an Aegis destroyer and its crew using the BMD 3.6 weapon system configuration can engage and destroy a ballistic missile target. Inside Decatur's forward VLS is an SM-3 Block 1A production round for firing against the target, a medium range separating ballistic missile target or MRT and at their battle stations are the Navy officers and crew preparing to execute the flight test. An intelligence overlay scenario places the ships in a potential hostile operating area waiting a possible launch from Country Red of an MRT. Two satellite data links to BMDS assets provide the ships with situational awareness for the event. The radar system controllers on Decatur and Port Royal use Mission Planner to set up Aegis Spy-1 radar search sectors for early target detection. Port Royal is equipped with the Aegis Ballistic Missile Signal Processor, BSP, under development for future Aegis BMD baselines, and is ready to conduct BSP data collection on the MRT. Its additional role is continuing BMDS interoperability testing with a THAAD ground-based radar on Kauai and other BMDS assets. Both the Aegis BMD sea-based and THAAD ground-based radar systems will perform target acquisition on the MRT and exchange track information via satellite link. Port Royal's gathered data includes using its missile downlink system to receive telemetry and conduct target kill assessment. International Allied Ballistic Missile Defense Cooperation continues in FTM-12 with the Spanish Aegis frigate Mendez Nunez, ready to detect and track the MRT with its SPY-1 radar. Back on Decatur, the crew prepares to demonstrate the engagement sequence group launch on Aegis SPY-1 when it engages the MRT. Aegis Auto BMD Weapon Doctrine missile engagement is used, similar to FTM-11 Event 4, with fire authorization bypass disabled. With Auto BMD Weapon Doctrine, the Aegis system automatically computes a recommended time to engage a ballistic missile target with an SM-3 missile. Located on a launch pad at the Kauai Test Facility is the MRT preparing for launch. Launch support and telemetry data operations are controlled from Pacific Missile Range Facility PMRF on Kauai for BMD tests. Also located on PMRF is the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, ground-based radar, which will gather and exchange radar track data on the MRT with Port Royal. After receiving a series of increasing ballistic missile threat intelligence reports, Decatur receives its last one. Set space warning red, weapons tight. The ship is at the highest state of alert for a ballistic missile launch. No target countdowns are given to the crew, 
they remain ready to react to a hostile action and detect the threat launch of the MRT. Here is a view from the MRT as it climbs into space. Being closer to the launch point, the MRT is detected first by Spy-1 radars on Port Royal and Mendez Nunez, along with the ground-based THAAD radar. The ships and THAAD track the ballistic missile target and gather data for later analysis. Shortly after initial detection, Fireball, 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 track 7631, ballistic. Decatur, in an engagement position, further from the launch point, sees the target and responds. For the six-minute flight of the MRT, many steps take place on Decatur before the ship and crew destroy its target. After PMRF range safety declares the MRT is a ballistic missile target, the Aegis BMD weapon system determines that the target is engageable. Clockwise to 066 degrees true, range is green. Decatur then computes a fire control solution. Auto engagement ordered and the captain authorizes the VLS to respond to the MRT threat with its own SM-3 Block 1A missile. TO Captain, Fizz Green, batteries released. After Decatur fires the SM-3, the Aegis BMD system continuously updates its intercept solution, providing the SM-3 missile with data throughout flight, keeping it on an intercept path with the MRT. As it nears its target, the SM-3 performs a burn-ditch burn maneuver with its third-stage rocket motor, placing the SM-3 in a proper path to the MRT and ejecting its kinetic warhead, or KW. Infrared sensors on the KW help distinguish the MRT from other objects in space, combined with Aegis data to confirm target correlation. An upgraded KW has full divert maneuverability with its solid-fueled engines providing two extra pulses, if needed, to drive the KW into the MRT at a predetermined aim point. In this animated view of the closing sequence, the KW acquires the MRT. A square around the target image indicates that the target is in track and KW divert guidance has commenced. Another direct target hit. Target destruction is achieved. Aegis BMD's ninth successful intercept of a ballistic missile. A proud record of achievement for the entire MDA Navy Aegis team. In the days and weeks ahead, the important test data collected by a variety of optical sensors and radar systems observing FDM-12 will be studied and analyzed. These images show the KW impacting the MRT with its reactive payload. Satellite data link transmission allows the MDA, Navy, Aegis BMD team and others in the warfighting community to witness the success of FTM-12 Stellar Athena. Stellar Athena FTM-12 successfully shows the flexibility of the Aegis weapon system. Both Aegis multi-mission cruisers and destroyers perform against a wide and growing range of threats and now armed with SM-3 ballistic missiles. Supporting the ballistic missile defense system with important warfighting capability for the Navy. Aegis BMD capability is very important to our Navy and our nation. And I think in the near future, you're going to see BMD become an official mission area for the Navy. I think it's a great fit for Aegis and a great fit for our nation, and it's needed right now. Playing a critical role in regional and global deterrence in the years ahead. Aegis BMD, on the front lines of ballistic missile defense.